Motivational Monday, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I thank everybody for all the support. I see y'all comments. If I haven't got to them, I'm going to get to them. Now, let me tell y'all about this story that just happened. Okay, so check me out. So, on sun, on Saturday, on Saturday, I had my last meal at 6 p.m. Because I'm good with cooking at 5 and then eating by 6 o'clock, 6.30 when I'm doing one meal a day, which is lately I've been doing one meal a day, but in keto form, okay? So, that's that. Now, I said, I'm going to do a 24-hour reset. I didn't tell nobody, because a lot of times, for me, it's mental, it's physical, it's emotional, it's everything. So, I didn't tell my daughter, I didn't tell my fiance, I didn't tell nobody I was doing a 24-hour reset, meaning a 24-hour fast where I don't eat for 24 hours. So, my last meal was on Saturday at 6 p.m. So, that means I can't eat, I couldn't eat again until Sunday, 6 p.m., which is a 24-hour reset. Now, let me tell you something. When you do a 24-hour reset, which is pretty easy for me, because remember, I'm the one who fasts for two on the day, so it's pretty light for me. That's light work. So I did the 200 day, um, I did the, um, 24 hour water fast. And let me tell you, I already knew cause I haven't did a 24 hour, 48 or 72 a week, a month yet since my last fast, which ended in July of 2022. So I said, let me do this, uh, 24 cause I'm, I'm starting to prep my body so I can do at least a week or two because it's time for me to do a prolonged fast again. But I'm like, let me just start it slightly. 24 ain't nothing. I do the 24 hour reset. Now, anytime you fast, you already know. Number one thing is stay hydrated, stay hydrated, stay hydrated. But in the process of you doing this fast, you're going to have bowel movements. Let's use the right terminology here for YouTube and, you know, for anybody who runs past my videos. So you're going to have multiple bowel movements. I think I had about three or four, right, before 6 o'clock. And that's the beauty of actually fasting. You're going to release everything in your body. Whether it was good, bad, it doesn't matter. It's coming out. So that was the whole focus for me was to do a reset. Right now, I'm thinking about doing another reset because it's already a couple minutes to 12 o'clock. And last time I had my last meal, which was yesterday at 6 o'clock um, again, because I came downstairs, I started prepping at 5 o'clock. By the time I'm done cooking, it was 6 o'clock. I was able to eat, you know, which I had uh, baked chicken and a salad. And that was it. And, oh, yeah, and two eggs. So um, today I'm thinking about doing another 24 reset. But the thing is, let me tell you guys. So, I told my fiance, you know, when I was halfway through with the reset, it was already, well, over halfway. It was already 2 o'clock. I told him, I was like, oh, he like, what are you eating today? And I was like, oh, I'm not eating today. I'm doing a 24-hour reset. He was like, oh, okay, because he was so confused that I just all of a sudden to him did it. But I already told myself yesterday I was going to prep for it. My daughter comes in my room with, like, three party wings on her plate and a salad. And she's like, um, yeah, so you want some? You want me to make you a plate or you finna come down the stairs? And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to, uh, I'm doing a 24 hour reset. She was like, wait, what? Ma, it's already almost three o'clock. And I was like, right. My 24 is up at six o'clock. Cause remember we had our last meal yesterday at six. She said, okay, here you go with your random fast. And I, I don't know. Cause usually I would let her know. And sometimes we'll do it together, but she was just looking so lost. She was like, okay, I'm just going to go eat, you know? So she ate or whatever. And, you know, it was just funny to see their face expression, but it really threw me off because what we also came in the house with these, you know how restaurants like your know, Whole Foods or Walmart, they have those whole roasted chickens and all that. He ended up coming in with him some roasted wings and my daughter some, and I was like, hmm, smell good. He was like, Oh, yeah, um, okay, my bad. I'm like, oh, you good. It don't matter because when I did the 200-day fast, they still ate. They even was able to eat around me. I literally was able to fast for 200 days drinking water, using Dr. Burt's, um, his multivitamin, his, no, his nice multivitamin, Dr. Burt's, um, his, uh, it's a it's a pattern. It's pretty much called uh, electrolyte patter, and it's high in uh, potassium. So I use that a uh, multivitamin, a gallon of water, and his nutritional yeast uh, pills, which was the hardest thing for me to swallow. But yes, those was my main things I used with my 200 day fast, and I was able to allow them to eat because my daughter at the time she was only about 14. I think going on 15. Yeah, she was 14 going on 15. And she was like, oh, I, she, at first I was letting her just stay at the kitchen table eat. But then I was like, girl, I'm 
I'm not about to eat. It was like day 125. I'm like, I'm much well just gonna keep this to day 200. So I let her. Um, she would sit in my room in the chair and she would eat and we would watch TV and I just be. She was like, I don't know how you doing this. And I just be mad at my business, drinking my water, sometimes just watching movies on Netflix or you know. I used to listen to positive affirmations with her sometimes just to keep myself going. And she just look at me like, ain't no way. I don't know how you do this. But I, I was so used to it. And yesterday when I did my 24-hour reset, she asked me, can she eat in her room? I said, fine. She literally was, because her room from my room is less than two feet. I could smell the food clear as day. She was like, yo, you are so strong. And I'm like, I don't even know why you're not used to this when I used to let you eat with me. I used to let you eat while I used to actually just sit on the bed and watch TV and, you know, sometimes work out and you'll be eating right there. She's like, yeah, that's true, too. So it's like I'm used to it mentally. I already know how to fast. I haven't did a fast in so long. Um, So I was like, yeah, let me get used to it. You know, let me get myself back in that room. Now, when I say I haven't did a fast in so long, relax, because I intermittent fast every day. But intermittent fasting to me is totally different from actually doing a 24-hour reset or a 48-hour or a 72 or, you know, a whole week of not eating or a whole two weeks or a whole month. It's totally different because the body do a full reset because all you living off is water. And when I do my resets, although I do have some of Dr. Bird's, um, some of his nutritional yeast uh, pills, I have some of those. And I also do still have his uh, electrolyte powder. Although I do have both. When I do a 24-hour reset or a 48-hour reset, I don't use it because my body is still fully cool. It's like I don't have to worry about anything. Like, But when I do like three days, which is a 72-hour reset, or if I'm doing a whole week, I use it because my body I don't want it to crave out or I don't want to go into a cardiac because the heart does start working in overtime when it's not eating anything, okay? Now, you can do water just 100% for 30 days if that's what you choose, but I strongly suggest researching. But personally, me, I use a multivitamin, nutritional yeast, electrolyte powder, and that was pretty much my thing. And, of course, a gallon of water. It was nothing less. Nothing less. A gallon of water. Yesterday, I did just a gallon of water straight, and I took my iron pills because I'm anemic. Other than that, that was it. You understand me? So, like, I got to prep myself for a long fast, which I usually don't tell nobody when I start my fast. I usually just get literally 14 to 20 gallons of water and get ready and get started and just keep it going. What I do do, which you might notice, I um, cut down my workout because it's not needed. If you are prolonging fasting, you do not need to work out very hard because the body will cram. It, it's going to feel it. It's going to feel it. I think when I did my 200-day water fast, I worked out literally today, I want to say 110, but it wasn't heavy working out. It was like really light, mediocre working out for like 10, 15 minutes, and I start to feel it to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to start working out. And I still, of course, was burning 35 to 40 pounds a month. So, I strongly suggest don't go too heavy when you fast. So, for me, when I start my 14-day fast, which is going to be pretty soon, I will be working out, but not heavy working out. Like, not like you see me doing right here, doing all my heavy working out and things like that. So, I want to just let you guys know I did do one. And let me tell you what I noticed with that 24-hour reset. I sweat. If you look at my face when I just did the goblin squats and I'm using my kettlebell and doing my kettlebell, I was sweating so hard. My shirt was wet. It wasn't like I was out of breath or nothing. I was just, my drilling was just going and I was just sweating and sweating and sweating and sweating. If you look at my face right now and in the previous workouts from a couple of minutes ago, you will see that I am very much wet. My neck is wet. My ears was wet under my head. It was just wet. So the beauty of that 24 hours uh, reset that I did yesterday, it made everything start going. I felt like literally a fat burning machine today. I can't make it up. That's exactly how I felt. Like a fat burning machine. And it was a beautiful feeling because I like to feel, you know, hot and like, yeah, I'm in there. You know, I like to feel like that, which I feel like that most of the time. But I really felt like that today. Thank everybody for watching. I appreciate all y'all support. See y'all tomorrow. I'm out.